Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Nomad Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. We're continuing our Nomad run, our mission to the center of the galaxy with no bases. Only a really badass freighter. Where is it? There it is, right up there. Look at that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a freaking monster. And no, I'm not compensating. All right, guys, well, let's cue up the music and we'll get right to it. All right, so we found a system that had three planets with glitches in it. We got one last night after running around like crazy. Andre says I missed a bunch of them when I was running, and I have no doubt. I mean, I feel like I'm going blind. Well, not only that, but uh, it's just sheer exhaustion lately. <laughs> Trying to maintain this maniacal pace, but we just picked up the uh, hex plate bush on this planet. As you can see, it had kind of like an orange stems on it, whereas the other ones have the yellow-looking stems. So that's two of three. We're going to head over to the third planet and see what, uh, how long it takes to find whatever that one has to offer. So that'll be kind of fun. So we were at the cable planet. Now nah, it was the hexagon planet. I forget what the third one is. It's not that. And there's the cabled planet. Probably this one here. Nope, abandoned. I'm sure it's not that one. Let's, uh... Look at the system again to see what it was. Yeah, that's the Bountiful Planet. Plated we were just on. High temp. Cabled. So on the other side, there's a metallic planet. Looks like it should be that one, but I think it's that one over there. We're just going to get out a little ways. And head over to it. See, I don't want to get drawn into the damn uh, space station, but I might not have a choice. There we go. Yeah, metallic planet. This is where Metallica comes from. Alien beings brought forth in the 80s to create awesome heavy metal music. And they make a pretty good whiskey. Blackened, it's called. It's a blend. Um, I got a bottle because it said it was aged to the music of Metallica. I guess they play it in the uh, warehouse where it's stored in the barrels and that constant music uh, moves the whiskey around in the barrel which kind of speeds up the aging process as, it, as it's agitated like that. It's absorbing more of the flavor from the oak and all that. So I was like, that's kind of cool. So I got a bottle to try it out. Not bad. But what sold me was when it said aged to the music of Metallica all I could think of was, wow, so was I. You know, I was like 15 when they first came out, I think. And before that, I was listening to, you know, Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Molly Crew, all the stuff that was out at that time. And then I went to this little local uh, record store. You guys might have heard of records. They had a lot of cassette tapes, too. You might have heard of them. Um, and... I was talking to the owner, he was this old guy that liked to dress up, older, I say old, he's probably my age, but he liked to dress up like King Diamond from Merciful Fate for like crazy reasons, I don't know why, maybe he was a mass murderer, I don't know, but um, I was like, what's some good new music? So he would always turn me on to new stuff, and he turned me on to Metallica, and then I think a couple of weeks later he turned me on to Megadeth, and then Testament, Exodus, um, Slayer of course, you know. So I got into this thrash speed metal phase that I never fully grew out of. I still love some of that old music and, and some of the newer stuff too, you know. As I've gotten older, I've mellowed out a little bit in some ways, but those bands still hold a place in my heart, you know. They were great, great bands. Uh, Death Angel, Forbid, I mean, oh my God, there's so much. Cannibal Corpse, Sepultura. Those were some great times for fans of metal music. But enough about metal. Now we're on a metal planet. Yeah, so I like these planets. This is a pretty cool looking glitch. It does look like some kind of weird gear-like thing. And again, the one that you can get 
is going to look slightly different than the others. We'll do a little bit of a flyby, and hopefully it won't take, you know, a full episode to find it this time. I'm going to be a little more diligent in my search, so Andre doesn't call me out again. <laughs> His comment didn't post, though, for some reason. Now, McH said uh, he's had that happen to him where his comments sometimes get shadow banned or, or something like that. I don't know. You guys know anything about that and why that happens? Because it's kind of weird, you know? It's not like his comment had anything in it that could be misconstrued as an attack or anything that could be misinterpreted as, you know wrong think so to speak <laughs> I mean he was just pointing out that hey you walked past a couple of them and uh, I even saw the the yellow uh, question mark and I was like huh I'll be damned but yeah it didn't show up so I don't get it I don't get it so yeah we'll take a little walk about see what we can find here. Oh, this is kind of neat. So we have some plants growing up top here from the uh, underground biome. Usually you don't see plants on the system. I know it's just a weird thing from the uh, positioning of where the plants are located, you know as opposed to the biome itself. Bingo! Much easier. I promised myself I wouldn't embarrass myself like the last video. <laughs> Alright, so we got our third and final glitch for this system. be able to put those on the ship now. Maybe I'll do that. I'll go up to... We'll bring the uh, freighter in. And we'll head up and we'll use them as decorations. Whoops. We'll try to uh, gather all 11 of them for that uh, main area in there. We also got to launch... We got to bring our ships home, you know, our fr frigates, and debrief them and then send them back out on another mission. So let's get that knocked out. And then we'll probably head on down to a new system and see what we find. Go look for another black hole. Try to get ourselves a little closer to the center. You know, all that fun stuff. So as the great Superman once said, up, up, and away. Look at this thing. This thing is so awesome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Should I play it risky? Yeah. Not the smartest thing I've done. I think we already previously had a glitch from somewhere else, so I'll look real quick and see what that's about. I believe they're under here, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we already had the light fissure one, so here's what's cool. So we picked up one, right? Turbian growth. We can put it kind of... Maybe right here by the door. But as you can see, we can build 2,000 of them. Look at that over there. So I had one in my inventory only. But as long as you have the pure ferrite, you can build tons of them. It's kind of like, it's almost like picking one up gives you the blueprint for it. Now, you see it's out of my exotic decorations here. But don't be fooled by that because we'll still be able to build more. I believe... Maybe not. Maybe we'll have to pick it up and then we can build more. Just have to do them all at once. But yeah, it doesn't limit to what you can do. So let's try that. Put that one down. We'll pick up the growth again. 
Yep, see it's back in there. And we have the ability to build 2,000 of them. So there it is. Alright, let's put the last one in, the fissure. Yeah, we got some cool stuff now, right? Looking badass. All right, let's check in on our. Sh this one's not. Wait. Oh, we never launched anybody. Well, that's my bad. <laughs> We're gonna launch some missions. I got so wrapped up in finding those glitches, man. All right, starting off, we'll do. We got two hours, eight hours, three. Hours. Yeah, all crappy. All crappy missions, but that's okay. Do the crappy ones to get to the better ones. So, we'll send out this organic. And this organic that's just mediocre. We definitely need to pick up another one of these soon. Just to get them growing. As we're getting more and more up into A class, that'll soon be S class. You know, I always like to have some growing, some of the crappier ones. So, that gives us a three star. You're out. Go to combat. And we'll send this one with it. A support frigate, why not? It's two and two. That support frigate might end up taking a couple dings. We'll have to see when it comes back. Uh, industrial. Let's just send this one out with it. Why not? It's already geared for an industry. 50 tons of fuel. Look at that. And for balanced, this is where it gets really easy. Actually. And one last balanced expedition. Goodbye, Leviathan. I know we usually keep you behind, but not today. Yep, that's it, Bubba. That's all we got. Alright, so... Looking to move ahead. Let's find our next system to teleport to. Or warp to. go in as close as we can until we can't go any farther and then we'll back it out. Ugh, oh, too bad. That one looks okay. We probably won't stick around doing much exploration here, but we will, uh, Stop by the space station and then jump through the black hole. Unless we have another glitch in the system. If we do, we'll grab that. Xeno colony. Oof. All right. No glitched planets, so that's okay. And having them in that front room there make it easy to look around once we scan to see if we do have the correlating glitch to the planet. So we don't waste our time looking for another one. I used to think you had to get, you know, as many as you wanted to put in. So if I had, uh, multiple bases I wanted to put it in or if I wanted to put multiple glitches up I'd run around searching for two you know two or three whatever until I got them all yeah 
Not necessary, Captain. Not necessary at all. So we're getting really, really close to a thousand subs. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for the notifications. I do No Man's Sky daily. I do Diablo 4 daily. And I do, you know, I'll mix up other things in there as I can. I kind of beat myself up the last couple months with like having four or five series running at the same time. So I've had to pull back just a hair for my own sanity. <laughs> But I am planning on adding another independent... I'm thinking of switching maybe from the independents to the horror games. The independents were fun, but they didn't get a lot of traction. And I, I truly love horror games. And I love horror games for a couple of reasons. One, they're scary. You know, they're two, they're usually... Uh, you should put together pretty cool, you know. I like the ones where you... It, it's not like... Like Dead Island I don't consider a horror game in Diablo, you know, because they're action type games. But the ones where you really can't defend yourself that well and all that, those are fun, you know. Survivor horror. Stuff like, you know... I'll put Resident Evil in that classification, even though you can really gear up in Resident Evil, but stuff like an Alan Wake-type games, uh, Amnesia... We're gonna start touching on some of these smaller, crazier games and... Um, playing them, because I do love them, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Here's our black hole. And I'm thinking of starting with Alan Wake, since Alan Wake 2 is coming out a little bit later this year. That might be a fun place to start. So here we go, into the black hole, guys. Don't do that in virtual reality. system. We traveled 600,000 light years plus. That's a big hop. Less than 600 away from the center, which is cool. Not the greatest system we're in, but hey. We're going to scan it anyway just to see. Maybe we'll get another glitch. Obsidian. Nope. Fractured, but I believe... That gives us that same thing we got off the hexagonal planet, the one that looks like a, a tree with the orange um, trunks and all that, or whatever you want to call it. Stems. We'll take a closer look at it, though, just to be sure. But I, I could be wrong, though. That might also be that weird one that has that really creepy-looking thing on it. Yeah, so we'll check that out. <clears throat> I know, like, every, every planet... Archetype, biome, whatever you want to call it, has several different things it can be called, you know. And they're all basically the same planet, it's just different names for it, or they're very similar at least, I should say. The same overgrown. So yeah, see those are similar to like a, a paradise planet and so forth, you know. You got the same basic resources. You look at the resources available on the planet, and that kind of gives you an idea of what it is. There's the fractured planet. I 
don't think this is the hexagonal one because we would like like the one with the plants because we would see the hexagonal layout of the actual land itself. Okay, this one gives us the cubes. That's right. And cubes, I generally have zero problem finding. They seem to be very easy to locate. Um, they are greenish as opposed to the yellow and orange, so they really do stand out, especially at night, but even during the daytime. They're not very hard to find, so let's, let's look around. See if we can see one real close. There's the animal. Did we get the animal? Nope. I know we forgot to do that on the last planet, but that's okay. back to the anomaly and cash in some of those those journey milestones do add up but the longer you wait the more uh, the nanites build up and the more rewarding it feels when you get it relatively small in size and like I said they got a green tinge to them and there we go I don't see the green tinge right now, though. That's kind of interesting. Maybe it shows up better in the dark. And away we go, baby. Could also be the lighting of this planet. You know, these a lot of factors go in to make things look weird, whether it be the color of your ship or whatever, the color of an atmosphere of a planet or the system you're in, definitely impacts that. I can't tell you how many times I've went and located like a rare, like a uh, exotic ship, for instance. You know, and you're like, oh wow, this one's gray, and then you take it somewhere where there's just natural, clear white light. And, yeah, it's not great. It's blue or it's something else. You're like, huh, let me down. I don't think we have anything bad on us. Oh, yeah, we do. I forgot I had some of that stuff. Well, we're just going to refuse to comply. And continue on our merry way to the space station, but... We are going to have to engage these guys a little bit, probably. I tried. They were only a few seconds out, so screw them. He may get a shot or two in on me, but we're going to be fine. 
Space station, home base. See ya. That reminds me, we need to sell that crap off before it gets us in more trouble. Graydon, yes sir. And if memory serves, this is a pretty bad system. Yeah, level three, lawless, declining. We may or may not get vessels in here to trade. That's a bad combo. Oh, but we do have a traveler. Look at that. We're going to definitely uh, go visit a grave site then real quick. Uh, we want to sell from the ship. Oh, I hear him landing now. Just a gra gra. I thought I, yeah, I thought I heard someone land. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Uh, let's read it. I don't know if goodness does exist, but we'll hope it does. After doing the Atlas Path, we're very close to having all of the glyphs. This will take us to the nuclear planet. I can live with that. No. It's taking us even further. closer. Yeah, four more. Be interesting living on a moon and having a big ass planet to look at this close by. Like, we look at the moon all the time, and it's so small in the sky, right? Imagine having that around you. It'd be kind of crazy. Alright, well... Yeah, we'll put this in place. Let's check this out. Pre-built wiring, package, blaze javelin, eh, not interested. I mean, it's not bad, but not my weapon of choice. Our little Rubik's Cube, though, that's kind of neat. Let's pop you right down there. See, now it's green. Okay, so it was definitely the uh, color of the planet. I thought something changed in an update. I was like, what the hell? I imagine we would have seen it better at nighttime, probably. I 
think that's the way it works, so. Yeah, that's that. Well, we're going to call this a successful run today, so thanks everyone for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault on our Nomad Sky run for No Man's Sky. If you haven't done so already, please leave a like on the video down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.